Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to show you how I did this Toy Story inspired set. So the artwork for this video took up a lot of time. As you can see, it's a long one. So grab a snack and a drink. Well, I went ahead and removed the old design off camera, but I will show you just on this hand, me doing her fill and regaining the structure. Um, on this hand, I did do one white nail and two on the other hand, just because the background of the character was white. So I opted to do it in acrylic. But for the rest of the nails, I'm just doing the fill in a regular clear acrylic. I did prep these nails the same as I always do. And at the end of the video, I will put the link to a video that I actually showed my prep in so that you could see that if you were interested in seeing that. So here on the middle nail, this is going to be one of those white nails, but first I'm going to go ahead and lay a little layer of clear acrylic just so that I can file down to it for her next set. Ser el hombre de tu vida, tener niños y estar en un altar. Tu belleza no nos se me olvida, ni tus besos y tus chistes al azar. Quiero ser tu amor. Conoce supe super bien, tú me viste y te subiste al tren. Todo vale contigo hasta nuestros amigos se enamoran de la forma que nos ven de amor.
So just to save additional time, I went ahead and filed and buffed off camera so that we could jump right into the nail art. For the nail art, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the pinky. The color that I'm using here is the only perfect sky blue I had, which actually happened to be a stamping polish by Born Pretty. So after I did two coats of that beautiful sky blue, I went ahead and used my dotting tool in some art gel by Profiles Backstage. It is the frosting one that they have. And I just went ahead and dotted until they looked like nice puffy clouds. I wanted that real cartoony look and this seemed to be the best way I achieved that look. You said that you needed me like a car. Moving on to the next nail, I'm going to work on Woody. Woody is also on the other hand. The three that are on both hands are Woody, Buzz, and then the Green Alien. Those are what she picked to have repeat on the other hand. The color that I'm using here is Perfect Yellow by Madame Glam, and I did two coats of that. After I've cured both those, the next color I'm going to come in with is Power Up by Young Nails in their Mission Control paints. And I am just going to do vertical and horizontal stripes. So how I did this to not mess myself up, I did the vertical stripes first and then I cured it and then I went ahead and did the horizontal stripes. So that way if I messed up, you'll see when I mess up. I could just go back and take off that one line and not have to do it from the get. I find it saves a lot of time to just kind of preemptively cure things when you like them and move on to the next step. So here you can see I did not like that line that I did. So I just went ahead with my 3D art brush and I put a little swipe on it and wiped off the polish until it came clean. Yeah, it was spreading everywhere. That was a good time.
After I flash cure that, I'm going to go ahead and do his buttons. So the first thing I'm going to do is do two dots of black with a large dotting tool. And the black that I'm using is from the Young Nails Mission Control paints also. I'm going to have her flash cure that. And then I am going to go in with the white by Mission Control and do the button. Next, using that same white, I went ahead and did a semicircle on either side of the buttons. You want to do the buttons first so that you can establish the center of your nail. Um, now, when I was painting it, the red was kind of sticking up a little bit and you could see, and I just had to paint, you'll see me go either direction to fill it in, so you will see ridges. But once you top coat, it all works out just fine. It lays flat, you do not see the ridges. I did ultimately end up doing just one coat of this white and everything was fine in the end. You'll see it's all nice and smooth and you don't see the, the line sticking up from the red gel. I go ahead and have her flash cure that and then I use a thin little liner brush to go ahead and outline the vest and I just use the same black that I used for the base of the buttons. Using the same black, I'm going to go ahead and do the stitches on his vest. And then the final thing on the vest, the cow print. I found it easiest to do it using the dotting tool and just squiggled it around and made some edges poke out a little bit, bit more than others, did some bigger than others, and I was really happy with how they came out. So while we were planning out her nails, we decided that any of the plastic toys we would do in the shiny top coat and any of the um, more cloth toys or anything that wasn't like a plastic toy, we'd do in the matte. So I'm going to go ahead and matte top coat these two nails because then we also decided that we wanted Woody's badge to be shiny. So I am going to do his badge in a gold glitter and then we will do a glossy top coat over the, his sheriff's badge, his little star. Now I knew there was no way I was going to get that tiny little star perfectly the first time. 
So what I decided to do was in gold, go ahead and just stamp one on, because I had one that was about the perfect size of what we wanted, just to give me a guide, and it worked out perfectly. And then I just went ahead and put the gold right over where it stamped out the gold for me. I also, after I did that, went ahead and outlined it in black, but unfortunately, I did not capture that. Um, it does really make it pop, but you will see it in the pictures and in the final video. And while I'm working on other nails, you can see that I did it. This nail is gonna be another full nail of that perfect yellow by Madame Glam because it is gonna be the Pixar ball. After two coats of that, I'm going to go ahead and use the blue that is in the Mission Control Paints by Young Nails to go ahead and do the blue circle that's around the ball, but we did it like circling around the nail a little differently. And I started out a little thin and just kept thickening it up till I was happy with how it looked. Now for the red star, I busted out that stamping plate again and some red stamping paint and just went ahead and used the larger of the stars to go ahead and do the star that's on the ball and it was perfect. Um, and then you'll see I just clean up the extra little paint that came out on there with the same 3D brush and a little bit of swipe from Young Nails. So since the ball is plastic, we're gonna use Gloss It by Not Polish to make that nail shiny. So for Buzz, the first color I'm using is called Clash and it is in the Mission Control Paints by Young Nails. And pretty much I just made an upside down V in the middle of the nail and extended it out to the edge and then filled all that in all the way up to the cuticle. Baker. 
besos y tus chistes al azar. I had her go ahead and flush, cure that, and then I drew two horizontal lines coming down from the green area. And for that, I did use a gel paint that I had from Savvy Land, but the paint color was a lot darker purple than what I needed, so I just lightened it up using some of the white gel paint that I had used earlier. So for the little area that has his insignia on it, I went ahead and used that same baby blue stamping polish that I used on the cloud nail. And I just drew it out basically, lines down the side, and then it kind of swoops to the bottom. It's a little scoop, so that's all I did. And then I filled it in, and then I will outline it in white once that stamping polish dries. I just hope you Here, I am just putting a little green just to separate his little area in his breastplate, I guess it is. And it's a little bit darker green. So I just used the green that comes with Mission Control and once again, lightened it with some white because it wasn't a really sharp green. Now here, I have to tell you, is where my camera went off. So the buttons, all I did for the big red button, same thing as I did Woody's buttons. I put the black down and then the red over top of it. And then for the buttons on the left, I did the same exact thing. Put black streaks down and then I drew over it in the color that they should be, which it goes red, blue, and then green. For his little emblem, we looked to see what it was and it's basically a rocket with like wings so from a distance you can't really tell and that small it's going to be hard to get detail. So I just drew it out in the best shape I could and then used some silver gloss to give it the little definition like the little lines in it. And it, it worked out good. We liked it. Also right above the red button I just used that same gold glittery polish that I used for the star to draw his name badge area. And we did do him shiny because Buzz is plastic. So for the thumb, this is Perfect Blue by Madam Glam. And I go ahead and actually that was so pigmented. I really I only had to do one coat.
for the alien, I'm going to go ahead and use that same color that I used for Buzz, which is called Clash. And I'm just going to sketch him out there. He had a little kind of round, kind of flat head. And because she has a stiletto, of course, it's going to go to the point. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull up his little antenna and use a dotting tool to start the little ball that's at the top of his antenna. And then just keep making it bigger until I like the size of it. Then I will go up on either side of his head and give him his little ears. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and flash cure it. So for his three eyes, I just go ahead and use a big dotting tool and just make three even circles as best I could. And then after I flash cure that, I will go ahead and come in with the black for its pupils. So once we got the pupils on, we were looking at him and thought he looked a little bit too much like the guy from Beetlejuice. So I needed to make him look like an alien. So I decided to go ahead and attempt the little mouth that they have. And on him, he does have a little more green outlining his mouth. So that's all I did. While the black was still wet because I wanted it to shadow it a little bit, I'll go ahead and just give him like an upper lip and a lower lip. Just a little bit of a pout. So the other white finger on her other hand, we did Bo Peep on. And Bo Peep wears a white dress with bubblegum pink polka dots. So that's what we did on this finger. And that, once again, pink is from Savvy Land, just a gel paint that I had. It was a little thicker and wanting to pull away a little bit, but it worked out really good. It was the perfect color that we wanted. And she also has some baby blue accents in her outfit so we went ahead and decided to do some baby blue gems at the uh, cuticle so you know we had to do a nail of Woody's boot with Andy's name on the bottom of it so I am using clutch by young nails mission control and I went ahead I believe I did two coats of that 
and flash cured each one and then I will use the same black by Young Nails Mission Control that I used earlier and do Andy's name and basically I just looked at a picture of it and tried to copy it exactly how it was written in the movie all the cute little backwards letters and everything ser el hombre de tu vida tener niños y estar en un altar tu belleza eso no se me olvida ni tus besos y tus chistes al azar quiero ser tu amor We did decide to make that nail matte, so we're going to go ahead and use Not Polish Matte It. So new to my collection, I have the Not Polish Jewelry Gel. And so far so good. I liked it. I liked the application. Super easy. And I'm going to go ahead and just place those baby blue Swarovski crystals on there. Here, I'm just giving it a second coat of the not polish matte it and just bumping it right up to those crystals not going over it because I don't want to dull their shine and with that we are done with this set I hope you love them as much as we do and love Toy Story as much as we do anything Disney really um, I will go ahead and show you the pictures I posted on Instagram and a little video so if you would please like share subscribe and I'll see you in the next one Thanks. Bye. Contigo estás primavera Quiero ser tú